In this problem, I'll talk about a wheel, a bicycle wheel, which is rolling down on an inclined plane. And in this case, the wheel is rolling down without sleeping. So this one is all the time rotating about its axis. So it's not just sleeping, it is rotating about axis. Okay. So what is given is the radius of the bicycle wheel, which is 0.5 meter. And the mass of the wheel is 5 kilogram. And we need to find out when the bicycle wheel comes at the bottom of this inclined plane, what is the linear velocity or what is the velocity of the, the center of mass velocity when it reaches down the bottom? What is the angular speed at the bottom? The height of the inclined plane is 5 meter and this angle is 20 degree. So let's calculate this one. In order to calculate, what we're going to do is apply the conservation of energy. So let's think about this one. At this point, it has only one kind of energy, that is the gravitational potential energy. At this point, it has both energy, the gravitational potential energy plus kinetic energy. And when I say kinetic energy, the kinetic energy has, has now two parts. The one is the rotational kinetic energy, rotational, and the other is a linear kinetic energy. And we need to calculate, or we have to calculate both sort of energy, both forms of energy. Why it is rotational? Because the wheel is rotating. You see this red dot here? It is rotating. So at this point, the red dot is right here, which shows the wheel is rotating. And at this point, the wheel, the, the red dot is here, again, showing the, it is rotating. It, it is not just slipping, it is rotating. If it is slipping, then it will have only translational kinetic energy because the wheel will not be rotating. As the, the bicycle wheel is rolling down, it has both forms of energy, the rotational kinetic energy and translational kinetic energy. But the beauty of conservation of energy is that the total energy, the total mechanical energy at any point is exactly the same. So at this point, it has only the gravitational potential energy. And at this point, it has only the kinetic energy. We are assuming this one as a reference level. And this kinetic energy has the rotational kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy plus the uh, linear kinetic energy. So let's write down the conservation of energy equation. What does it say? The total mechanical energy at point A is equal to total mechanical energy at point B, which is the conservation of mechanical energy. At this point, it has only the gravitational potential energy. That's what I'm writing because it is not a moving at all. So it does not have any kinetic energy because of rest. So it has only the gravitational potential energy. At this point, it has only the linear kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy. It does not have any gravitational potential energy because we're choosing this one as our reference level. So linear kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy at point P. So what is the formula for calculating the gravitational potential energy? If you recall, the formula for calculating the gravitational potential energy is mgh, where m is the mass of the bicycle, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height. We measure the height with respect to the center of mass. And now, linear kinetic energy. If you look at this bicycle, all points is rotating, but there is one point the center of mass or the center of the wheel, which is not rotating, it is just moving in a straight line. This point is not rotating at all. It is simply moving the center of mass. It is moving in a straight line, the center of mass. Okay, so, so the center of mass has only the linear kinetic energy, half mv center of mass. 
correct and the wheel is also rotating so it does have the rotational kinetic energy and uh, the rotational kinetic energy formula is have i omega square so you can also write down from this one as well half if you have a mass in linear motion then it is replaced by the moment of inertia and v the velocity it is now replaced by the angular speed angular or angular velocity omega square okay so this is now the total kinetic energy this is the linear kinetic energy and this is the rotational kinetic energy so now uh, let's further write down the all the values now mgh as it is mass so here we're going to write down the moment of inertia this is a bicycle wheel so the all the masses are concentrated at the edges all the masses so we ignore in fact the mass of this rim here so all the masses is in the, we assume at the are, are the outer periphery or at the out at this circumference so the moment of inertia of the wheel is m r square that's the moment of inertia of the wheel m r square and omega is v cent center of mass square over r square remember v is equal to r omega so omega is equal to v over r and in this case the v is the v center of mass all right so you so how do we get this relation if you want to know about all this relation you have to watch the other videos okay so now we have the mass on each term so the mass is now cancels out or if we divide by the mass on each term the mass will be cancelled out so this term we have only gh now this side this side you have v centimeter square over 2 and on in this side r square and this r square cancels out so you you have only v centimeter v center of mass square divided by 2 so this term will add up now and you will get v center of mass square so the v center of mass will be a square root of gh now the g we know that is 9.8 and h is 5 meter so if you do the math what you get is the center of mass speed is 7 meter per second that's the speed at this point so once you know it how do you calculate the angular speed again the angular speed is given by this formula v is equal to r omega and v is or sorry omega is v over r in this case we're all talking about the center of mass here because we know the the center of mass velocity so the v center of mass is 7 the radius is 0.5 so it is 14 radian per second all right so this is how we calculated the angular speed the and the the center of mass the velocity for a for a bicycle wheel on a inclined plane and all we did is apply is by use of conservation of energy and there is some the relations here and you have to just keep this one in mind and remember this one is for the center of mass this is v center of mass this is the general formula so i'll just write down v center of mass here okay so this is it from this video again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below thank you very much and please do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much